Baby. We don't die, we multiply. Can't spell ISO without that I. That last intro got copyright, but we back, so like and subscribe. Just vibe to the guy that A's at that C to the GOA. If you wondering where I've been, I came back just to let you know. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, talk to me. You too. I drop bangers. Copyright is so whack, you feel me? But hey, I'm Steezo the God. What y'all following me for, little minions? Get away from me. I'm trying to make a video. Leave me alone. There we go. Alright, so ignore them in the background, y'all. Shout out to them. But look, we back at it with another. They must have heard we was coming out with one. Another dribble tutorial. This time around, though, y'all, it will be a beginner dribble tutorial. But don't be like, oh, Steezo going to teach us how to do a crossover. No, you idiots. When I say beginner, what I really mean is meta. The meta dribbling, because that's what the, that's what y'all, that's what they do. That's what all the meta dribbler do. If you want to learn how to do like the stage dudes and the little loop, because they just do the same stuff, and it's very, very simple. It's all just simple beginner stuff, but it's still pretty cool. Every facet of dribbling is cool, especially when you have a game like 2K20 where they just limit us so much. I mean, I could give y'all the most advanced stuff, but I'm getting comments upon comments. Steezo, how you do the simple kill? The simple stuff, I, I, I don't understand to do the glitch. I don't care to do the glitch. Okay, well, I got you. There's so many other dribble tutorials out. It's like the good people already know everything. I, I got it. I'm here for the casuals at this point, you feel me? Just hit that like and subscribe. But anywho, what y'all gonna need and I hope this ain't your first time around, but it probably is because it's your beginner. But what you gonna need for this, of course, I'm gonna go even before the six, is you wanna have this as your controller settings. You wanna have pro stick function default and pro stick orientation absolute. Absolutely. I ain't ever showed y'all this before. This is exclusive settings. God darn it, can I get a like and subscribe? This is exclusive, y'all. I ain't never showed this. Now, after you do that, of course, what you're going to want to need to do is go into none other than the animations. Come on. Simple. Jesus. All right. Now that you got to the animations, you are definitely gonna need whatever dribble style you like i'm not gonna lie size of package now there's two you can use and it doesn't really matter you can use the allen iverson or you can use as you can see i tried out all of these like i bought everything you can use the allen iverson or you can use kobe bean Bryant. it really doesn't matter because it's really all about that r2 down step back that's what we gonna be learning today so the kobe bryant or the allen iverson they're both just as good trust me you're gonna need pro 5 moving crossover a lot of people like the pro 2 but i'm not going that glitchy i'm not gonna teach y'all the pro 2 no no, no 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 another video maybe pro 5 behind the back basic two spin or pro four spin moving hesitation pro one or pro three it doesn't matter people anywho you got the six let's get to the video and i know you see the controllers i know you see the controllers earthquake not playing come on all right we here now look closely at my uniforms and compliment me on the uniforms. They look good, don't they, Steezo? Yes, they do. They look really good. I mean, I don't know how I do it. Now, the first moves I'm going to be teaching y'all today, they are none other. And I don't know what the hell people call it. I only call it what I want to call it, people. And the move, the, the, the calling that I like the most was called peekaboos. And basically, what these little peekaboo moves is, 2K has a function. And I'm gonna break this down for y'all. 
but 2K has a function to where whenever you move a little bit to the, whenever you speed boost, I should say, whenever you speed boost a little bit to the side and about that's as far as you can go, you are able to trigger a new move. So, for example, you go to the side and then you could just boom. You see what I'm saying? Boom. And then once you do it good, how come it's not giving me the good animation? There we go. Look at that. And that's just like a good way to like fake them out right there. You get what I'm saying? Very good way to fake them out. Those are a little bit of the peekaboo. So in order to trigger this, look at the controllers. I want you to very look closely. And you're just going to want to speed boost to the side a little bit so you get to right here. And then R2, diagonal down. And you can see that that just like I'll give you an example right here of just boom. It's just really it's just a peekaboo. Peek peekaboo! You see what I'm saying? And that's as basic as it could get, y'all. Now you'd be surprised, Steven, why are you teaching me this? There's people that do not know this stuff. And then as you can see, once you get the good curry, because it, it's really RNG with that little curry escape behind the back. When you get the good one, that's just to kill every time. And then you can start doing like go to the peekaboo side and then you see what I'm saying? Any move you could think of when you just go a little bit to the side, you could just peekaboo to the other side. Now this game would be amazing if you could just do the good curry every time, but and then look, just boom, boom, hit him with that boom, boom. See what I'm saying? And that's pretty much how you do the little peekaboo moves. Now, also one of my favorites, I swear, I ain't seen nobody do this until we started doing this, y'all. And y'all know what I'm talking about, but this R2 down little step back right here, right there, that's gonna get you open for a three, and I'm gonna teach y'all exactly why, because exactly with you going to the side and being able to do the curry, you're also able to do the R2 down. So this, what you do with this, it's pretty much like a fake drive, if you get what I'm saying. So. Let's start it off. We're just going to go boom, boom, and then we're going to drive, and then R2 down. You've seen me do it a million times. You've seen the kills that this move produces. Every good dribbler that ISOs I know does this move now, ever since they took out that behind the back. It's like pretty much just, it's 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 so quick, and it, it if you got a good size player, it's going to take you back so far to where you're going to get a green every single time. So it's like a fake drive. So watch, I'm going to fake the drive. Boom. And just like the concept of the other peekaboo, as long as you don't go too far to the side, you're able to just trigger it. So all together, you could just boom, boom. That is very hard to guard. Now it looks super <laughs> simple, y'all, but trust me, that combination right there is going to get a lot of kills because they got to go down for the drive. You see what I'm saying? And you could just... You could literally spam it. You could do whatever. And if they don't go, if they stay up, like if they're playing up, you could just literally just drive around them. So pretty much you're putting your defender in a position to make a guess. And most times you're not going to give up no dunk. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to go down. And that move is just OP, y'all. Now the straighter you go after you speed boost, the more glitchy it looks. So you can go to the side, and that's pretty cool. But I like to go straight. See, if you mess up, you will do the little snatch back. But look, see? Which green lights all day? Go, 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 go check out my jump shot video. Automatic greens, as you can see. And, um, yeah, this it's crazy too, because these are pretty much the only moves you need to even get open in this game. I swear you can cook somebody just doing all of that, but I'm also going to be teaching y'all the Steezo rolls again in depth because there's still some people out there, Steezo, I don't know how to do it, but let me put on this little caution right here. Not every build can do it. I don't know why. Maybe it's because you didn't pick skinny. Maybe it's because your ball handling, I don't know, but some builds could not do the Steezo roll. And I'm, it's just the way it is. But what I do know is, if you go and make my build, which is the playmaking shot creator, or anything playmaking, I would say, you should be able to do it every time. Most people can do it, but some people's players just can't do it. I don't know what you're doing to mess up on it, but either 
you're doing it wrong when it comes to the animations or your player just is it possible and most of the time you know you can do it you're just doing it wrong but some players i have seen it is impossible but to do the steezo world there's about three different combinations there's the momentum so if you guys don't know how to do a momentum you know it's like a crossover with your right stick and with your left stick while holding r2 at a little precise time and he'll do boom See what I'm saying? So you want to do a momentum to the side. And when I say to the side, you have to really do it to the side. That's really the key about this move. It's like a delayed spin back. You momentum to the side while all holding R2. And then you got to like take your left stick and just shove it down to the, to the opposite, you know, opposite diagonal. So all in one motion, it should look like this. See what I mean? And then of course you press down with the right stick to even your player out but yeah the key to this the reason why people a lot of people mess up is they get their angle wrong and they'll just you know they'll just like hold on see i'm getting it every time <laughs> i can't even fake mess up i can't even fake mess up y'all uh, you know they'll just mess up their angle but i promise you if you do it to the side and know exactly when to do the little left stick diagonal down you should be able to get it just about every time and that should cover it for the people who just Steezo, I cannot do the the thing for the life of me. Well, I don't what, what build are you using? Like, what exactly are you doing it with? Because it should be very simple. If it's not simple, you might just not have that player. And I think it has something to do with body type. I'm not, you know, this game is weird. But I will, you know what I'm gonna do for y'all? I'm gonna drop my build video because I feel like I have one of the best builds in the game. Of course, I don't do hop steps, I shoot threes, and I have the best shooting build, I believe. Shooting ISO build. And it's good to have a good shooting ISO build because you're gonna force the defenders to come up on you because they have to guard that three. And the more they're up on you, the easier it is to go around them and you'll have a wide open dunk every time. So I'm gonna re drop my build. Let me get 7K likes, whatever. And, you know, for all of y'all that just wondering, I have the best ISO build. I promise you. I would take this. I've been on the offensive threat, the book pit build. I've been on the two-way slasher. Even though that's good because of its defense, I choose my build every time. But, yeah, anywho. But, um, yeah, now that you got the momentum roll, you pretty much just apply that same logic to anything else. You know, you want to do a between-the-legs roll. It's the same thing. It's all about the angle. You know what I'm saying? You want to do the standing roll, standing spin roll. Same concept, you know? It's just the angle to the side. And it's all about that shove down. You see, I shove down with the left stick to the diagonal. It's all about just knowing when to do that. Slow down the video. Do what you have to do. Break it down piece by piece. And that's just one of the most deadly combinations in the game, y'all. I'm telling you. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. To finally cap it off with the most simple meta dribble tutorial, what would I do if I didn't teach y'all how to crab? And a lot of y'all is like, crab? <laughs> what the heck is crab? You know, I ain't never heard that before, but a crab is basically, I get the concept of why they call it the crab, because to crab somebody, you got to do this. And you know how crabs, I guess, can only walk sideways so it's like oh you know it looks like he's a crab when he gets them and i'm gonna just show it on the screen right now you know what i'm saying but um yeah as y'all can see is when you get that player just stuck behind you and he's just in no position to contest you to 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 do anything and it's funny because in 2k19 the crabs were a lot more op now they can kind of be behind you and sometimes they'll get the contest off so just be wary of that but yeah the way that this phenomenon works is you ever just get a defender that just plays you way too tight it's almost like he's trying to run into you like he'll defend you and he'll just it's like he's doing the running man because he's just pressing he's pressing you he's just you know all up on your nuts well whenever you get a defender like that all you're gonna all, all you're gonna want to do is just hit him with a quick speed boost to the side and then an r2 left R2 right, so quick speed boost to the side, R2 right, or even, you know, so you just, boom, and if they're pressing you, like most of these park bums is, like most of these states has, when they try to get a reach, you're just going to be able to just 
R2 to the side and they're just gonna get shoved behind you and they're gonna just feel so pathetic. I mean, getting your ankles broken in this game is very demoralizing. But have y'all ever been crabbed before? It's almost just like you're just defeated. That's just like the ultimate way to humiliate someone is to just crab them and put them in a, they like a little helpless baby just behind you on your ass. And they can't contest you and you just green light on them. And it's just, it's just a cool feeling, y'all. So whenever you get somebody, like I said, that's just on your nuts, you just want to go to the side or to, to the side and then boom. And there's better dribble moves that will help you crab better. I think it's like Pro 6. It's like one that like brings you forward. But you don't need that. I, you know, I don't like to do all that. I'm not going to sacrifice my whole dribble style just to be able to crab because it's fun to do. It's not like I'm addicted to it. It's just fun. And it's the same concept, people. You go a little bit to the side. And like I said, when you speed boost, you go a little bit of a distance. You're able to cancel the animation and just do a new animation. So the new animation, instead of doing like the curry or doing the step back, this new animation is to the side or two to the side. You see? So that's pretty much like the basis of all these moves. Just like the little fake outs. Boom, go this way. Boom, go this way. Boom, go this way. Oh, crabbing them. You see what I mean? It's like these little fakes. And they just added that this year. That's the one thing I like about 2K20 dribbling is this concept. I'm not going to lie. I really fuck with it. I hope they keep that going into the new 2Ks. If they don't, I don't care. It's just really all about faking your dude out. And as far as like basic stuff, that's all you really need. <laughs> like some, you don't even need the glitchy moves, you know. And we could do the glitchy moves. Just don't get it, don't get it twisted. Like we got all the glitchy moves still on deck. Like you see what I'm saying? Like I'll do it all first go. It doesn't matter. And that pretty much wraps it up for the tutorial, y'all. I hope I help the beginners. I hope I help the advanced. Just like little things we overlook. It's beauty and simplicity. And I read that in a fortune cookie. And I've just been running with it ever since. You know, that was some great orange chicken. You know, MSG is really not healthy for you. So, you know, you're supposed to really cut down on that. But just, you know, look at me. Just look at me. Y'all enjoyed the video. Let me get 7K likes. Quarantine steez are we being really 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 listen to my voice right now just listen to it you hear you you feel the vibe we vibing right now we ain't even grinding rtgk we vibing so if you fuck with the vibe damn i just cussed i thought i can go a whole video without cussing i guess not y'all <laughs> but yeah if y'all mess with the vibe we get 7k likes I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even know where I'm at right now. You feel me? Just look at me. Oh, my God. Oh, my skadoodle. Holy skadoodle. <laughs> Still got a 41%. And on that note, I love y'all. Turn them noties on. Post notifications. We will be grinding. I got more for y'all all the month of May. And I love y'all. Peace. I live in a constant state of fear.